I'm Charlie, and you're watching Burnout Radio. And I'm here today at the Dallas Auto Show with Kate Manetti from Aston Martin of Dallas. Yes, sir. And we happen to have a very select car with us today, the Aston Martin Repeat. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? I like the, the Repeat is the newest car to our lineup. We're actually uh, doing a big unveiling here. Uh, it's the first time we've had it in North America. In fact, we air freighted this car in from Austria just to have it here. So it's one of two examples in North America at the time. Uh, but this is the the new kind of ultimate expression as far as what Aston Martin is doing in the auto industry, uh, and particularly within our lineup. We are a sports car company. Uh, we have historically produced, uh, through our 95 years of production, mostly two-door vehicles. We have a, a really new market emerging that's demanding something with four doors, room for four people, but has the sports car capabilities and feel of the other vehicles in our lineup. So it's really what Aston wanted to, to achieve was not to build a four-door pleasure boat that has an Aston badge on the front to call it an Aston. Uh, what they wanted to do was yeah, really take our world-famous and very loved design by everyone around the world and, and, and transform that into a four-door project that wasn't forced. It wasn't all of a sudden something that had to become a stretched version of another one of our cars. So they, they started from the ground up and executed absolute pure and perfect proportions, which is our, our biggest focus. So, well, that's um, one, of, one of the things that, that our listeners know that we had some concerns about. We were actually you know, saying, no, we don't produce the Rapti because, because I'm a huge Aston Martin fan, and I love the classic two-door coupes that you guys do in the soft tops. And we were so terrified that this was going to be an ugly piece of junk. Right. And to actually walk up on this in, in, at the auto show and go, oh, that's just an Aston Martin. And walk, no, it's the Rapide, and it's beautiful. The lines are, are perfect, and, and the, the shape still carries that classic Aston Martin shape. It does, and, and that, that was our, that was the, the biggest thing to really achieve with this car, was to maintain um, what people have come to love with our other coupes. And, and it's something that, you know, I, I, I sympathize with that feeling as well. I'm, I'm a traditionalist with Aston and, and been with Aston for a very long time. And, um, you know, when all of a sudden you take something, and a lot of people were worried, well, are you going to, dilute the brand or you can confuse your buyers because you're, you're a sports yeah. car company uh, that does one thing and they do it very well. Yeah. Um, and, and with this vehicle, you know, when you look at the side, they, they went through, through some big big details to make that, that same silhouette of our hard top coupes. And in fact, a lot of people, especially since our vehicles don't have exterior you know, door handles to hang off, a lot of people really had to look for the rear door on this car uh, because it does have the same exact window silhouette as our other coupes, uh, even so much as to cover the B-pillar in glass so that you don't have an exposed exterior B-pillar, which is, this is the only four-door car on the planet to have that element built into it. Um, you know, and as far as interior goes, it's not just a beautiful design. You look at it in the back end, still has those wide, muscular sports car keep rear haunches on it, uh, which creates a narrower interior, but they didn't want to build a, a, a nondescript bench seat rear passenger car. What they wanted was was for the rear passengers to have two independent bucket seats to give those rear passengers the same sports car experience, feel, environment as our two-door vehicles. Now, um, one thing, just did not to interrupt you, but what you guys don't realize is there's a thousand watt stereo system playing at the top at, at near max volume in this car, and you can't hear it right now. Listen to this. Specially designed Bang & Olufsen sound system uh, that they partnered up with Aston on. It's a 15 speaker, 5 channel surround sound system uh, to give the ultimate experience on the inside of the car. Now most people actually prefer to listen to the exhaust note on this car because everyone that drove it uh, yesterday, which was the first chance our owners had to drive the vehicle, uh, got in the vehicle and, and somewhat really expected it to sound like a sedan. And they got it and it sounded like a DBS. I know that they and it blew them away. So they, they loved to listen to that. But as far as rolling around and, and literally not hearing anything on the outside of the vehicle, because you have double pane glass uh, that eliminates 50% of ambient noise. Now watch this. You guys can hear the music, and as soon as we close these doors, nothing. Completely eliminated. 
And it's the same thing for the fastener on the inside. When that 18 wheeler diesel pulls, pulls up next to him with the stoplight, you don't hear it at all. So it, you get in this like cocoon of just leather and metal and, and, and suede and, and, and this you know thousand watt banging all the sound system, and you completely forget where you are. There's anything going on outside of you. Uh, DVDs in the headrest for the rear seat. Air conditioned seats front and back. It is an interior unlike anything else, and that's what Astro does is handcraft cars with 100% authentic material. Um, it, it's as bespoke as a custom built home. You were telling us that it's got 10 cowhides in here. Yes. Correct. 10 4 foot by 5 foot cowhide. Yes. Uh, that is a lot of luxury. It is. That's, uh, that's a lot of stitching. Uh, they are completely hand stitched. In fact, uh, you visit the factory and you see a line of, of seamstresses putting together these, these hides uh, that, that have been bespoke ordered by, by customers uh, in any stitching color they want, any leather color they want. I can paint the vehicle in any color in the world as long as it has a paint. If I want to use a 1965 Ferrari color, I can do it. Uh, we're the really the manufacturer that can really personalize a car on that level. Grain match, they color match. They don't use all of those ten hives. Unfortunately, there is some scrap, but they only use the best quality out of all those. Um, I mean, even even you know details like the inside of the door sill is stitched in leather, uh, and all the all the bright they see through this car uh, down to the speakers. Uh, they see It's authentic. There is nothing that's fake. Well, talking about that authentic Aston Martin experience, you've got to have the V12. A lot of people think that way. <laughs> they, they do. I mean, traditionally, we've, oh. we've used V12s. It is a 470 horsepower V12 engine. Yes. Uh, it's 443 pounds of torque. And what's amazing is 80% of that torque is delivered at less than 2,000 RPMs. Which is exactly where you want it. Exactly where you want it. This thing jumps off the line like our two-door sports cars. Well, let's take a look at this V12 like we're talking yep. about. People don't realize this thing sits here in the engine bay. It does. As right far as below my hand is the front axle. Front axle. As far as the government's concerned, uh, we produce these cars to be a front mid-engine setup. Uh, that is a big, very heavy engine. Now, it's all yes. aluminum. It's all extruded aluminum, so it's as lightweight as, it, as we can make it. But you don't want to put that thing Way up here. Um, putting it as a front mid, setting it as low in the car as possible, doing these hollow aluminum strut braces and towers to reinforce the rigidity of it, and pushing it as far back as possible, it achieves a 49-51 weight distribution, which is extremely hard in any sedan. It's extremely hard in any vehicle, really. It's near perfect, too. Near perfect, and our big transmission transaxle sits in the rear of the car. So it creates something that, when you're driving it, feels smaller than what it really is. It, it, it shortens the car up, handles well, it doesn't oversteer, doesn't understeer. It'll, it'll, it'll really put you anywhere you want it to. Uh, it, it really drives like a sports car, but you can alter that with a couple systems in the car. We have an active damping suspension that will lock down into a track mode to give you more of that, that two-door coupe feel that you love so much um, to give it the, the road feel, the sports car feel, or you can loosen it back up to where it's constantly adjusting to the road surface and absorbing all those, all those potholes and irregularities that unfortunately we have in Dallas uh, to give that nice cruiser type comfort ride. And then you can also alter the, the transmission to get higher revs, more power out of the engine with a more aggressive uh, shift strategy. This is the ultimate expression of what Aston tries to do in, in that element. We don't, no one's ever bought an Aston, no one's ever bought one because they needed one. You don't need these cars. No. Uh, but no one's ever bought an Aston because it's the most powerful thing on the road. It's not. It's not the fastest thing on the road. It doesn't have statistics really. It's not a black and white on sheet. Paper car that you're this car doesn't up. beat anything on paper. No, it doesn't. But it is absolutely beautiful. Yep. And when you think sports car, this is the shape you think of. Right. A classic coupe line, body lines that Aston Martin's had for many, and, many years. And it's timeless. It doesn't go out of style. Um, that you know, out of out of 95 years of producing vehicles, we've only produced roughly over 40,000 cars. Now, to give you a perspective, um, they'll build 20,000 Panameras this year. They built 40,000 911s in a single year. Uh, we built 40,000 cars over 95 years. Well, so so 10, this minutes. is completely hand built. The paint is, is color sanded between every layer. And this is one of the most beautiful paint jobs I've, I've seen on a production car. Mm -hmm. um, usually you're seeing a lot of orange peel and this kind of, this paint does not have that. It's like looking into a gray mirror. It's perfect um, reflection. And it it's, it's actually epitomizes the level of detail you guys go to in your cars. It does.
And well, I appreciate you guys Absolutely. being on the show today, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank appreciate you so it. much.